Okay, hello all and welcome to yet another brand new video. So in today's video, I'll be making life a little bit easier for some of you who don't know how to do this and uh, we'll be getting your um, your Switch updated to the latest Cosmos CFW. So without further ado, let's get started. So for your requirements today, you're going to need to obviously have a Switch that is exploitable and running custom firmware. And um, if you're running Cosmos at the moment or if you'd like to change the Cosmos, I'll show you how you can go ahead and install it or update it today. So first off, you want to go ahead and download the latest Cosmos. So that's version 15.1, the heartbeat. So you can do that by going to the link that I'll put in the description or being their releases and then just scroll down to the bottom here. So you'll see Cosmos version 15.1 zip. You want to download that one there and it'll just download. It'll take a moment to download completely. Uh, while it's also downloading, you would want to go to get the SIG patches from Juni. So Click on this link here and it will take you to this tab. Uh, currently the latest update was on July the 1st, 2019. Now the reason why you want these is so that you can use your homebrew apps and games because um, sometimes uh, applications won't work on the Hecate or the uh, Cosmos CFW. So you need this to sign them and get them to work. Um, so yeah, you want to download this as well. So scroll down and I highly recommend downloading the one that says Cosmos patches for boot config. Um, if you decide that you want to use the Fuse primary, you can also use this, but we're using Cosmos, so we're going to go with the Cosmos one. And um, as you can see, my patches have completed, but I'm just waiting for the remainder of it to download. So it looks like my internet's just pooped it. So I might just quickly pause the video and download those, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so when that's finished downloading, you want to go ahead and uh, open up the the zip file that you've downloaded and next thing you want to do is you want to go and get the SD card out of your switch so make sure you power it off or boot into the um, menu for the Hecate so that way you can remove the SD card without any issues and then you want to insert it into your PC however you're gonna get it in there so I'm just plugging mine in now Okay, so here is my SD card, so I'm just going to put it over here for now. And we'll just resize it a bit. There we go, that'll do. So what you want to do is you want to grab the contents of this folder, just select them all, click, and drag and drop it onto your SD card. This will take a moment. If it asks you to replace anything, just replace it. So go ahead and do that. And then while that's doing that, let's get the Cosmos patches opened in the background. So close this box here and as you can see it's just finished up with the copying so that's great now this is our cosmos patches so we're just going to go like this copy this and drop them into there like that and again replace it so it'll paste everything in there and now you should be good to go so um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, eject my, U uh, my SD card now from the PC so you can do that by going down here and just right click on it and then go eject all right so that's how you safely remove the sd card and now we'll go ahead and uh go to the switch so you want to go ahead and insert your sd card i guess and boot up the switch to the home menu and if you have any issues then um you should go ahead and try that um those first couple steps again um if you still have any problems then leave a comment down below but otherwise i'll meet you at the home screen Okay, welcome back. So now, as you can see, we are on the switch. And um, what you can do to make sure that you've updated correctly is start off by testing a existing homebrew that you may have installed. So I'll go ahead and open up the browser that uh, I have uh, shown you guys how to install in a previous video. So as you can see, it seems to be functioning correctly and it didn't give me any errors, so that's great. We'll go ahead and close that application now. Um, you can also go through and test, oh, not that one there. You can go ahead and test the album. So just make sure that you have your homebrew manager coming up, uh, your homebrew menu, I should call it. And so that's it. So if that seems to have worked for you and all your homebrew works, uh, then I guess you're good to go. If you have any issues or if something's not working, please make sure to drop me a comment down below. I'll see if I can help you out. But um, otherwise, make sure to rate and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.